apologies, I forgot to turn this one on. Um, I'm, do, I'm just preparing for a demonstration tomorrow for a ladies group. That'll be fun, although I know most of the ladies. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll just, just carry on, there's quite a bit to do, so you haven't missed an awful lot. Probably about ten minutes. These are sort of dark areas in in the sand. It's sort of essentially a Norfolk painting. Just using a worn out brush for this. Is. These are sort of shadow areas. <coughs> I'll go over the this, <coughs> this bit as and when. All so, right, let's uh, nice bit of light. In here. bit of light in those trees. Alright, put down the, in the drink, uh, I'll do this road <coughs> or path up to it, then I'll do the house, have a go at the house. Uh, now this is drying very quickly. So I've got my little uh, I did it. Uh, oh there it is. My little uh, So we're going to have a, have a white, so let's imagine the light is coming overhead. So let's put in a bit of sienna and a bit of that. Oh, I didn't mean that, did I? Uh, mm, mm, mm. Right, let's scrape that off. Okay, that's uh, fine. Just straighten that all up in a minute and put some chimney pot stacks in.
of a barn there. Now Norfolk, a lot of Norfolk roofs um, go out at the back. It's like an extension. So that's that. we've got that to texture, but we'll leave that for a moment. We'll go back to the road and then we'll see how the sky is getting on. They find some shapes in there. I don't want to finish too quickly because, uh, although I'm not being paid, I'm being paid for one next week for the Car Shorten <laughs> Rotary. <laughs> one of very good friend of ours is and the cycle group. Uh, along the River Wandle, uh, he's asked me to do it, and I said yes, I would. No, um, all right. Well, uh, let's get a bit of uh, bit of greenery. Oh, I need a bit, a bit of this sort of hedgerow. I'll put a couple of figures in this. Oh, well, so I do like mixing my Payne's grey with, with the ultramarine. Got a real good dark. I need to lighten up quite a bit of that, which I, I shall do. Um, see, I'm sorry about the late, the late start, I forgot all about it. Hey. Right, go back to my larger brush. Oh, I didn't use that one. This one here. No, not that one. Uh, it's here somewhere, it must be that one. at the back. Might put in a little one of something. Now, I'm, I'm not copying for anything, I'm just working this from a previous painting. Which I'm sure you don't want to see, but, but it's this one. I quite like this one. So I'm, I'm just working from it. I, I've changed the building shapes and the things and uh, uh, let's get around here. There's a squirrel in my garden fighting with a wood pigeon. I've uh, lump of bread I threw out there earlier. This one on a Edward Seago painting, uh, but I sort of make it my own. I don't copy, well, I try not to copy. But as Tom Keating say, and as I said many times before, if you want to learn to paint, paint from the masters, copy the masters because that's how they learn. I'm going to pack up all this tomorrow afternoon and 
and uh, pack everything away, ready to go and then look after these little ladies. Put some going up here. Just mask the bit by the grasses. put some detail on, or detail, some texture, that we say in the trade. and dry, uh, clean. Now I need some yellow. I've got quite a bit of yellow to choose of this. This is um, graduate, graduate. I was thinking of getting some of the Windsor Newton in the pots, but that might be just a bit, a bit more I want to spend on this. I'm not doing much on, on, uh, on, uh, Patreon because I spent so much time on here on YouTube and I'm sort of neglecting it a bit. I still I still send some paint paints here and there. Uh, I hope you uh, go on to YouTube and see because all, all this all these paintings I put on YouTube apart from the ones that the demonstrations because I won't be uh, uh, taking a camera with me. Barn. I might scumble over that. Right, I'm going to have a bit of a window here. to the wall now. Well, I can change that. I'll put a bit of light on that roof. Or on the chimney stack anyway. Uh, I don't think it's a register. Might do. Bit crooked. sort of a bit chimney colour. I'll try 
try and do is just to separate the tree from that roof. I'll use a bit of Payne's grey. Over that at the moment, so do the road now. We're moving through the road, and I'll go back to that. I'll let that dry. This one, it's a little shadow. Just rough and the rest of it. Go back to that. Oh, it's a bit tacky. I'll have to change. I'll have to go back to that. Uh, oh, I've got a figure brush. My old trust, trusty. I usually do sort of white shirts because that sh shows up. Quite chubby, isn't he? No, I don't want to do, uh, do uh, anything on that. So just, uh, Anyway, I'll go back to that. I'll just give him a, 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 a red cap. Why not? There we are. That finishes him off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, so 
brushing up a bit now. So we want some you've got yellows. Keep the brush clean. Uh-huh. I'll use this brush. I've got a couple to three of these brushes and bought them when I can afford them. So I'm putting the, uh, the light on the left hand side of the, of the tree. That didn't quite work out. So I want to use this as a demonstration piece of all its faults. Plenty of uh, undergrowth on all this. I just want to light them. It's easy to do with uh, acrylics when they, they dry very quickly, as this thing from uh, oils. I do, I, I do like oil painting, but I'm, I'm enjoying all the acrylic stuff now. There's one painter that I really do like, and that's. Uh, the Danish painter, the Danish painter, Louis Marie, Louise Marie, or Marie Louise. I watched her yesterday, she's got some lovely um, music to some of the, 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 the videos. She's really wonderful, wonderful artist, all abstract. This is, I, I'm not doing any detail, the only detail is the windows and the door. But apart from that, it's just all texture. I love texture. Alright, let's see if we can get a bit lighter on, on the, the, that uh, here. Oops, a bit of bit brown. I want that very light. Like catching the sun. 
I think it's a little bit too obvious. some of those We could, uh, I'm not going to put a washing line in, that's a bit mad. But I might just try and put a little figure on here. Houses. It's a bit sunny, so we'll have a bit of a bit of a bonnet. Uh, no, let's still on that, do we? Yeah, she's a bit uh, big. But she's just surveying the house, so if she goes back, she will be more or less. Bit of a mess here, isn't there? Let's so, we'll see what we can do there.